Hip-hop was born in the black inner-city neighborhoods of the late 1970s America. The rapper took the microphone while the DJ set the beat by scratching the record with a needle like a musical instrument. He sampled, scratched, sped up and slowed down the records, mixed music and urban sound effects. Breakdance was the moves, and graffiti the art form of hip-hop. The black neighborhoods had given rise to another musical art form that spread around the world in the early 80s. German kids started rapping and scratching too. Some learned to breakdance, others sprayed graffiti on walls and subway trains. It was the temptation of forbidden fruit. Hip-hop gained a following in Germany, but the music didn't become really popular until the rappers gave up trying to imitate the ghetto attitudes of their forerunners in the U.S. First on the scene were the Fantastic Four from Stuttgart. They owned up to their own background, and it wasn't ghetto. It was well-to-do middle class. Their success inspired another rapper from Frankfurt, Moses Pelham. The Bastard in Search of Light and Genuine Feelings. In his lyrics, Moses Pelham cultivates the image of the outsider whose soul is tormented. Born the son of an American GI in Germany's financial hub Frankfurt, he grew up in a suburb, Rödelheim, which gave its name to the Rödelheim Hotheim project. He still lives there today, managing his record label 3P. Moses Pelham was still a teenager when he heard hip hop for the first time and got into the groove. When I got to know this art form, I was already playing drums and listening to rock music. At some point, I realized the kind of beats happening there were completely unplayable for me. And I asked myself, what are they doing with those turntables? You see somebody moving the turntables back and forth, and obviously somebody producing something. But as a 12-year-old, I didn't know what it was in detail. And I thought, wow, that's great. I want to do it too. It feels good. As a kid, you follow your intuition much more. Dropping beats, whether you wrote them yourself or memorized them from records, was a way of attracting attention as a teenager. It was an ability you had. You could say, hey look, I'm doing it just like the guys on TV. But more and more you develop a different attitude toward it. You discover it can be more than just a way of getting attention. It can be a form of expression. Of course, all the seminal albums came from America, but I was listening to them here in Rödelheim. And others were listening in places like Kastrup Rauxel South. The culture became theirs and mine. They were expressing things I had on my mind. It wasn't like I was thinking to myself, there's somebody in New York saying this. And instead, we'd say, blah, blah, blah. There was no kind of transfer at all. This is a feeling I can have anywhere in the world. Nobody is so thoroughly marketed the hip-hop feeling in Germany as Moses Pelham. After scoring his first chart hits, he turned his label, 3P, into a talent factory for the rappers and singers among his friends. Now, three years later, one top ten hit has followed another. With three and a half million albums sold, 
the producer has earned several gold records, and he's gone from the lone rapper to music millionaire. Dimas even Turner, the massive tones on the other hand, are still dreaming of sales figures like those. The group from Stuttgart is shooting a video to announce their upcoming tour. It's a self-satire on their Swabian upbringings, and it's even got grannies serving up dinner for everybody. Dimas Eve and Turner are all in their 20s, and they all come from Stuttgart. They've been together since school days. But many of the rappers who give the German lyrics the flow and melody of hip-hop are the children of immigrants. The DJ comes from Finland, and the parents of the three rappers come from France, Portugal, and Greece. The German language is pretty good for rap. You can make it sound hard or fairly soft depending on the style you want. Yeah, you can rap in any language. You just have to have the ability to rap. And that's the whole point. Basically, we're just talking about ourselves and the experiences we have the whole time, about hip-hop and life in general. The song that first shot the group to fame and put them on the charts was, of all things, an attack on the marketing mechanisms of the music industry. Dimas even Turner rapped on the show business phenomenon of the shooting star. Sie hat ihre Sachen gepackt, denn sie hat ein Satz, Kleinstadt, ab in die Große, wo was los ist, sie singt und will nach oben, bis es so weit ist, verkauft sie bei Haar und im Hosen, lernt neue Leute kennen, neue Moden, da erzählen Kollegen, dass Produzenten in der Stadt sind, für ein Casting, so ein krasses Ding, das Cash und Spaß bringt, und sie kommen in Massen, gaffen aber nicht anfassen, die Mädchen hassen sich und lachen, machen sich zum Affen, darf ich dich was fragen? Träumst du an manchen Tagen von großen Shows, ausverkauftem Haus und tosendem Applaus? Pass auf, ich bring dich groß raus und sie heult und freut sich. Ja, du bist mein Gesicht 99, denn nicht jedes Mädchen kann sich so edel bewegen und hat ne Mähne wie Schweden. Du musst nur tanzen, wenig reden, aber nicht singen. Man kommt bloß weiter mit Ghostsinger und Ghostwriter. Ist alles soweit klar, dann unterschreib was. Was Oder verarschen am Stück. Sie hat jeden gefickt. Einmal klar und zurück. Was Blech. Was Oder verarschen am Stück. Jeder hat sie gefickt. We discovered that if you write a text in English, we can't really say what you've got on your mind, because you're limited to whatever English vocabulary you've learned. In German, you've got it all. And that raises the question of the price to Massive and Turner might have paid for their own success. These German rappers are themselves ruthlessly marketed as the latest trend by the music industry. The hip-hop community developed and became independent right along with the labels. So now there are the right people in charge who publish this stuff. They have the inside dope on the whole business. All the groups got organized by themselves, and I'm sure they'll keep going even if the industry disappears someday. The structure is there, and it'll stay.